Road crashes in Britain are currently the largest single cause of accidental death. On average, seven people are killed every day. And in the next four minutes, I'm going to help you avoid some common mistakes. Bob, how many road accidents are there in Britain every year? About? Latest stats say over 170,000. And what are the main causes? Uh, driver error. 68% of all accidents are down totally to driver error. An awful lot of accidents happen on country roads, don't they? Yes, yeah, single carriageway, country roads, in excess of 17,000 accidents last year, where a single vehicle was involved in the accident. Now, I grew up in the country and I live in the country now, and often when you're on the small roads, you see an animal in front of you. Well, n nobody wants to run an animal over, no. but you've got to think about the repercussions of violent swerving, which would take you maybe in the hedge or oncoming vehicle or whatever. Luckily, I've got stunt driver Alistair Moffat on hand to show us exactly where we're all going wrong. We're going to basically swerve, skid and lose control, which is what most people tend to do in this situation. <laughs> Okay, so how can maths help us? Well, first, we have to understand why cars skid. As a car builds speed, it gains kinetic energy. Once you apply the brakes, the wheels stop, but the car continues to skid. The two surfaces, road and tyre, act against each other until the car has lost all that built-up energy in the form of friction and heat. <laughs> car moving at 20 miles an hour needs five meters to skid to a stop. Let's see what happens if you double your speed. So a car going at 40 miles an hour actually needs 20 meters to stop. That's four times the distance. So a doubling of speed actually results in a quadrupling of stopping distance. sustain a certain amount of force before it loses traction on the road. Once a car has begun to skid, the driver loses control of the steering. If you steer aggressively, then you increase your chances of skidding. If you exceed what's known as the tyre's natural slip angle. When a tyre is cornering, this is the contact patch with the road down here. And it's this contact patch which has to resist the forces of friction between the rubber and the road surface. When you corner at speed, the tyres point in slightly different directions to the forward motion of the car. And this difference in direction is known as the slip angle. Most road tyres are designed to operate with greater friction at small slip angles of up to 8 degrees, helping to glue the car to the road. However, anything more than 8 degrees puts too much force on the tyres, making it lose traction with the road. And that's why aggressive steering can cause your car to skid. Like that. Here's our one-show guide on how to avoid large obstacles in the road without skidding. Assess the size of the obstacle. Will hitting it cause the car to lose control? Two, if your car doesn't have an anti-lock braking system, then pump the brakes. If the car begins to skid, then release the brakes immediately until the wheels start to turn. If you do have ABS, then hold the brakes steady to stop locking and let them do the work for you. Three, try to avoid any aggressive steering or acceleration. Four, slow the speed as much as possible before turning. And five, if it's safe to do so, then begin to steer around the obstacle. Remember the eight degree slip angle. But the golden rules in any situation are not to speed and to pay particular attention to what's going on. And in that way, you'll stay safe. <laughs>